The next release of Adobe Premiere Pro CC introduces task-oriented workspaces. These provide a pre-selected collection of panels laid out to perform a particular task. The default workspace is editing, and it provides a timeline panel, a source monitor, program monitor, and easy access to useful panels like effect controls for adjusting effects that you've applied, the audio clip mixer for adjusting audio levels, and metadata for examining your media. The assembly workspace focuses more heavily on your media content, allowing you to manage your project and build a basic outline edit. So the project panel is larger and many of the other panels are hidden. You can always access a panel that is not displayed by going to the window menu and choosing it from the list. The audio workspace provides ready access to audio tools like the audio clip mixer for adjusting level, and the audio track mixer for adjusting audio level over time and applying effects to the tracks in a sequence rather than the clips. The color correction workspace gives access to the new Lumetri color panel and the Lumetri scopes. The effects workspace gives you a larger effect controls panel and direct access to the effects panel. Notice that the source monitor is still available but it's hidden by default behind the effect controls panel. And finally, the Metalogging workspace provides access to the metadata panel and a larger, wider project panel in order to access the various different headings with additional information about your clips. That's task-oriented workspaces in Adobe Premiere Pro CC.